If you've ever wanted to turn a flat 2D image into a detailed 3D object with depth, shadows, and geometry you can actually interact with, this tool is going to blow your mind. Whether you're working with AI-generated art, old family photos, or looping video clips, True Depth lets you extract real 3D geometry using nothing but your GPU and a little bit of AI magic. If you find this helpful, like and subscribe for more Blender content. All the links you need are down in the description. And now, let's get creative. So what exactly is True Depth? It's a Blender add-on that uses AI-generated depth maps to transform flat 2D content into real displaceable 3D meshes, and it does it entirely on your machine using your CPU or GPU. That means no internet connection, no cloud servers, no slow rendering farms, just fast local geometry creation that actually works. With just one click, it generates a depth map from your input, whether that's a single image, a frame from a video, or even a batch of AI art you make with tools like Midjourney or Sora. Then it automatically uses that depth data to displace geometry inside Blender, giving you a physical mesh with actual depth and dimension, not just a parallax trick, real, usable 3D meshes. Let's talk about workflow, because this isn't just a one-button gimmick. True Depth gives you control over how everything is generated and displayed. In the add-on UI, you can switch between CPU or GPU processing. Obviously, GPU is the faster option. You can load in images, videos, or even PNGs with alpha channels now, which is really useful for isolating objects without needing to mask them manually. You can adjust the model size depending on your needs, small, medium, or large. The larger the model, the higher resolution and quality of the generated depth map. If you're doing anything with fine detail or plan to zoom in, it's worth downloading the large model version for sharper geometry. You also get sliders for displacement depth, detail level, smoothing, and a lot more. If you're after something stylized and exaggerated, crank the displacement up. For realism, keep it closer to that 0.5 to 1.0 sweet spot. And once the mesh is generated, you still have access to Blender's native tools, so you can and add a subdivision surface modifier for even more detail, or fine tune the texture placement using the UV settings inside the shader editor. If you're into 3D printing, this next part's for you. True Depth includes an add base function that gives your geometry a printable foundation. You can scale the base, cap the bottom, and even clean up the mesh using built in Boolean tools. No need to open other software just to prep your object. From there, you can apply all the modifiers, export to OBJ, and bring it into any major slicer for printing. That makes it incredibly easy to take a photo or an AI-generated render and turn it into a physical object, ready to be printed and painted. The creative potential here is huge. You can use True Depth to build out backgrounds, like cliffs, walls, or entire landscapes, starting with a single image. You can even use it in motion, turning a short video into a 3D animated mesh that reacts to lights and shadows. It's especially powerful when combined with AI art tools, the kind of stuff you'd normally just use as a 2D texture or concept image, because now you can give those assets actual depth and physicality inside of your scenes. You can also use the depth extraction for things like creating layered parallax effects, building elevation maps, or designing placeholder geometry for camera layout and framing. The flexibility makes it a great utility, even if you don't use it every day. And the dev team isn't done yet. Future updates include things like bump and material controls directly in the UI, and even a built-in image library you'll be able to browse and convert right inside Blender. And of course, updates are free for life, so you're not buying into another subscription cycle just to keep up. True Depth is one of those rare add-ons that feels like a genuine breakthrough. Not just a time saver, but a new way to create. It's fast, flexible, and genuinely fun to play with. If you've ever looked at an image and wished you could just bring it into your 3D scene, now you can. Check the description for a link to the add-on. We are affiliated with this creator, so using our link helps to support our channel so we can bring you more videos like this. If you enjoyed the breakdown, like and subscribe for more Blender content, and of course, as always, until next time, take care of yourself and each other.